Hi, I'm Alistair Ben from Available Light Images. A question I get very frequently is how to correct the color casts that are caused by using ND filters, typically the 10 stoppers that we use these days to make nice smooth water. I'm going to use this image taken in Iceland on a pretty dull winter afternoon. It's a 30 second exposure and the method I'm going to demonstrate to you is the best way as far as I'm concerned. We're all familiar with the color picker tool and we're all familiar with Lightroom presets uh, for white balance. Um, I'm going to ignore that whole section and move straight to the tone curve. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to correct not just the color cast, but I'm going to correct the global contrast as well. Now, this image has dark shadows and bright highlights. It's not unusual for this image to have a histogram that goes from pure black to pure white. In this case, it is not. We can see there's a big gap here at the top end. Uh, it's probably underexposed by about a stop. Now, I'll come on to later on what to do if you don't want to correct contrast. Now, basically what we want to do is come into the point curve here and use the channels, but instead of using the RGB curve, we're going to correct the individual channels. So starting with the red, we grab the white point at the top right hand corner and we drag it to the left and we need to watch the histogram and the clipping warning indicators and once they start to clip it goes so this disappears if we hold down the j key we can turn on and off our highlight warning on the actual image which is a better way of doing it so if i click the black point down at the left hand side and drag it to the right until we get clipping now that's made it worse because we need to correct all three channels. So we come back to the green channel, we drag that to the left until the image starts to clip and we get those red warning indicators actually on the image which is pretty helpful. I tend to watch the histogram until it starts to clip and then drag it back. And then finally with the blue channel, again, Finally, the black point. And there we go. If we compare that with the image that we started off with, we can see not only have we got rid of the color cast, but we've also improved the contrast. If we look at the histogram of the first original image, we can see it there, and then we compare it to the new one that we created and we have a far better histogram and this is a much better starting off point. We've retained the beautiful blues in the foreground, there's a slight hint of colour in that horizon and I can go in and make additional changes here to maybe pull back some of those highlights which is going to help to warm them slightly and you know you can, you can do whatever you want in this image to make it look however you want it to do. This used to be a method that we used to do in Photoshop a lot using curves adjustment layers and this is an image that I did that very same adjustment in uh, Photoshop and we can see that actually Lightroom has delivered an image that I think is probably more useful. The, the Photoshop version is quite clinical uh, whereas I think the, the Lightroom version has retained some of that warmth um, that was actually inherent in the scene. So there you go, a really great method. If you don't want to adjust contrast, so if you're in an image that is actually a low contrast scene and you don't want to use this method, which will obviously create black and white points for all, all of your channels, is you have no choice but to go in and use the color picker tool um, and pick on something that is going to be a mid-tone gray and it is going to, to do whatever it is to correct the image. If you then do a few adjustments to try and get it the way you want it to look. So let's say we want a slightly brighter version of that file. Yeah, see I can't help myself, I want to darken those shadows. So again, there you go. That is that is pretty much colour correction in a nutshell. So I hope you found that useful and if so, I'd like you to follow available light images here on Facebook. That would be very, very appreciated. Thanks, bye.